Hi, I'm Brandon Lemke, owner of Vikings website Lemke's Lot, and I'm here today with a couple questions from fans over the last month about the Vikings. Um, I do usually a weekly uh, question and answer on my website, but uh, this month I decided to do a monthly one, and I took the five best questions, and I decided to do my first video vlog um, and answer them over the video. So, uh, first off is Matt from Stillwater. Minnesota. He asks, how do you think Toby Gerhardt will fit in with the Vikings offense? Well, that's a tough question because in college um, at Stanford, he wasn't really much of a third down back, which is um, assumably why we drafted him um, in this year's draft to replace Jester Taylor on third downs. And, you know, he could be a complimentary back to AP as well. So, I mean, don't rule out him coming on second or even first down sometimes. He is, uh, he's kind of like the second workhorse to the team. Uh, he has the ability to be a workhorse, but I don't think that'll be his role, at least not to start off with. So right now, I would say he's probably going to be a third down back, uh, mostly. we got to check his catching skills. That's what I'm, I'm going on a training camp um, in a week or two, and I need to check out if he can catch the ball because that's one thing we're really going to be missing with Chester Taylor. So... Right now, I think he'll just be third down back, and uh, maybe later on in the season, saw it coming in second downs, or um, you know, even splitting you know fifty fifty with AP if if he just stands out. Uh, second question is from Dan in Utah, and the question is, what needs to happen in order to get a new Viking stadium built in Minnesota? Uh, first of all, our politicians have to wake up and realize that the Vikings are Minnesota's team. They cannot go anywhere else. This, you know, there's some haters here, but a lot of times they are closet Vikings fans. You know, this this is a Viking state. It's not going to change, and it really just piss a lot of people off if we got a stadium anywhere else. So, what needs to happen is politicians need to really realize how serious this issue is, and you know, imagine like with the Twin Stadium opening up, opening up. That created a lot of money already. Tickets sold like crazy. Um, so imagine what the Vikings, uh, Vikings tickets and stuff would do to the economy. It would just make it all the more better. So I think, and part of it's on Ziggy Wolf too. He needs to contribute a little bit more money because what's he asking for? About six hundred million. That is a lot to ask for. I'd say go halfsies, probably if you're gonna want a new stadium in Minnesota. Um, Natasha from Mankato, Minnesota, asks, Whenever Brett Favre decides to retire, who will be the Vikings' starting quarterback? <laughs> uh, this year, he is coming back. I don't care what you hear. He's coming back to the Vikings. So, this year it's going to be Brett Favre. But, next year, I'm... This is kind of a stab in the dark. I'm going to say Joe Webb. You know, because I don't think... I think T-Jack, yeah, we resigned him for a year, but I don't... Chili's, Chili's going to realize soon that he's not the answer for long-term plans, and they're already liking Joe Webb, our sixth-round pick, right off the bat. So uh, I think you can't throw him out of the equation. And, you know, if we get free agent next year or maybe um, draft a guy in the first round like Jake Locker, uh, he might go pretty high, though. I don't think we're going to have a high pick because we're going to go pretty deep in the playoffs. So I'm going to say Joe Webb. Uh, Omar Davis from Buffalo, New York, asks, "Who is the next Vikings player I am going to interview, or you are going to interview?" Talking to me. Uh, well, if you don't, if you don't know the site very well, I interview many Vikings. Um, but the next one, I have twelve at one time. Uh, it's down in training camp. I'm doing like a huge training camp type segment with, you know, I'm going to ask them all the same question. About three, there's going to be three questions, and I'm going to ask them all. Uh, the same three questions and then put it together and it'll be like, it's all training camp related so I have 12 right now including uh, guys like Vasante Shanko uh, Sidney Rice, possibly I haven't heard back from him quite yet, but uh, that could be, that would be really cool if I could get him in there, and then I got uh, Greg Lewis, Jasper Brinkley you know, Eric Frampton again, I've already made pretty good friends with Eric Frampton, so uh, a lot of guys like that. A lot of special teamers. Aaron Henderson. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty good though. I got some big name ones coming up too. 
And the final question is from Brent in Iowa. Is this the year for the Vikings? Yes, it is the year for the Vikings. Why? Okay, we have a hard schedule, but we also have a pretty dang good team. And I don't see us going... You know, we made it to the NFC Championship last year, and the way it ended is going to really, really give us motivation this year to go all the way. You know, Saints, they're going down first game. They are going down. So, you know, from there on, if we need to win. I think we need to win that game in order to really establish who we are, you know, because we got to get uh, – we to be the best, you have to beat the best. And last year, uh, I think we were the best team. But according to who won the Super Bowl, the Saints are the best. So we beat them. We go on we go on to Miami next week. That should be – or it's in Minnesota, but that should be a good win. And the Lions, easy win, 3-0 and already, you know. We just got to work into the postseason and keep uh, a good mindset. And I do think this is the year for us, especially if Favre comes back. When Favre comes back, he's coming back. So that's all for this week. Um, if you want to ask any more questions, I'm going to be doing more video blogs. And uh, just leave a comment on my website. It doesn't matter what post, I'll see it. So just ask me a question. It's called LemkeysLot.com. Um, so look it up on Google, Google search, Google search it. So, you know, that's, that's this week's Q&A. Peace.